Hello everyone! For today's topic, you're going to learn the subatomic particles of an atom. Can everybody say subatomic particles of an atom? So one of our discussion last week was all about an atom. So last meeting, we defined an atom as the smallest particle of an element. So this time, atoms are made up of three types of smaller particles. These particles are known as the subatomic particles. So what are the subatomic particles of an atom? Do you have any idea? So look at this picture. So this is an atom and these are the subatomic particles of an atom. What do you think? The subatomic particles of an atom are the following. We have the word protons. Can everybody say protons? Neutrons. And the last one is electrons. So this one is the structure of an atom where you can see these are the valence shell electrons. So the one that is roaming around here are the electron particles. And then inside of an atom is called the nucleus. So inside the nucleus are the protons and the neutrons. The one that moves around the electron shells are called the electrons. Okay, so we have the relative mass and charge of atomic or subatomic particles. So we have the proton, neutron, and electron particles here, and the mass and the charge of each particle. So the proton having this one mass, AMU stands for atomic mass unit. Then neutron having one mass and electron is zero. Proton having a positive charge. Neutron, no charge or neutral. And the electron is having a negative one charge. Note that AMU stands for atomic mass unit or one over 12 of the mass of a carbon atom. Class, I will explain this one in our next lesson. I would like you to focus on the relative mass and the charge of the subatomic particles this time. So again, I repeat, proton having one mass and a positive charge, neutron one mass, zero or neutral charge, electron zero mass and negative one charge. As what I have said a while ago that protons and neutrons are found in the nucleus of an atom while electrons surround the nucleus. Again, this one is the nucleus where inside the nucleus are the protons and neutron particles. And then we have here the electrons which are surrounding the nucleus. So I have a question. What are the charges of each subatomic particle? Can you still remember what is the charge for proton, neutron, and electron? So if your answer is a positive charge for protons, then you are correct. Then if your answer is uh, equal or zero charge for neutrons, then you are correct. And negative charge for electrons. So these are the, the subatomic particles of, of the atom. An atom is consists of an equal number of electrons and protons. Hence, an atom is electrically, electrically neutral. So again, for example, the color blue here, uh, there are three color blue inside the nucleus. So for example, this color blue uh, represents the number of protons. Okay, so again, if there are three number of protons, the same with the number of electrons. That is why um, an atom is having this electrically neutral. Since atoms are neutral, the proton number is also the number of electrons in the atom. For example, we have an element lithium here. So lithium having this three number of protons and of course, three number of electrons. Next, we have this what we call a nucleon number. Do you know what is nucleon is? 
So the nucleon number of an element is the total number of protons and neutrons in its atom. Again, nucleon refers to the total number of protons and neutrons in its atom. Okay, so for example here, um, again, color blue is the number of protons and the color green is, is the number of neutrons. So we have three color blue and three color green. So there are six number of nucleon or there are six nucleon numbers because nucleon number is a combination of the number of protons and the number of neutron. So what's the other name for nucleon number? So nucleon number is also known as the mass number. So again, the proton number plus the number of neutron is equals nucleon. Okay, so for example, here we have number 10 at 10.811. Uh, this is the atomic mass. And then atomic number is the number of protons. So here at the top, this is the number of protons. And then atomic mass is equals to the number of protons plus neutrons. So this is the total number of nucleons in the nucleus. Again, nucleon number, mass number, or atomic mass are the same. The atomic number is the same as the number of electrons in an uncharged atom. So as what I have said, um... Atomic number is the number of protons and electrons in an uncharged atom. So for you to understand uh, clearly our lesson, let's have an example. So a chlorine atom has 17 protons and 18 neutrons. What are the proton number and the nucleon number of the atom? So again, let me read the given example. A chlorine atom has 17 protons and 18 neutrons. What are the number of protons or what are the proton number and the nucleon number of the atom? So class, as what I have said, the number of protons and electrons are equal. And then the nucleon number is equals to the number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. So I will give you five uh, seconds or 10 seconds to answer. Five, four, three, two, one. So the question is what are the number of protons or what are the proton number and the nucleon number of an atom? So this one is the solution. Okay, so given we have the proton number 17, a chlorine is having 17 protons, plus number of neutrons, we have 18. Okay, so number of neutrons, 18. So what are the proton number and the nucleon number of an atom? So the nucleon number is 35. Okay, so before we have our review today, let me remind you that I prepared a short quiz and I attach it in your Google Class or in your Google Classroom. So kindly answer right after our discussion today. So what are the subatomic particles of an atom? Do you have any idea? So look at this picture. So this is an atom and these are the 
subatomic particles of an atom. What do you think? The subatomic particles of an atom are the following. We have the word protons. Can everybody say protons? Neutrons. And the last one is electrons. So this one is the structure of an atom where you can see these are the valence shell electrons. So the one that is roaming around here are the electron particles. And then inside of an atom is called the nucleus. So inside the nucleus are the protons and the neutrons. The one that moves around the electron shells are called the electrons. Next, we have this what we call a nucleon number. Do you know what is nucleon is? So the nucleon number of an element is the total number of protons and neutrons in its atom. Again, nucleon refers to the total number of protons and neutrons in its atom. Okay, so for example here, um, again, color blue is the number of protons and the color green is is the number of neutrons so we have three color blue and three color green so there are six number of nucleon or there are six nucleon numbers because nucleon number is a combination of the number of protons and the number of neutron so that's all for today thank you so much and have a nice day everybody